Welcome to the Cary Systems Technical Institute video training series. This program will review the DOORS 32 DOORS for Windows software basic installation and configuration. For proper installation and configuration of the software, please view the modules in the order listed. This will ensure that the information needed for programming will have been created and is available. Modules 1 through 9 will guide you through the installation of the software onto the host PC and configuring the hardware and operating parameters for proper programming and operation. Modules 10 through 16 review additional features used for basic system operation, communication between the host PC and controller network, and manual control of the doors, inputs, and outputs. This is module four of 16, set system options. Set system options allows you to set certain standard doors operating parameters and enable certain doors features. As you turn on options, the appearance of some screens will change. Access the setup system window by clicking on the toolbar button or from the pull down menu. Select setup and then click on system. Click the system options tab. Whenever any option is change is made, it must be saved or it will be lost when the option window is closed. A pop-up window appears when an option status is changed. Click the Save Now button to save the change. There are 13 system options from which to choose. The number of available options may be different depending on the version of Doors for Windows installed. Sites mode allows you to manage multiple sites at the same time from a single software installation. You can manage up to 255 sites with each site containing a maximum of 128 controllers for a total of 256 doors per site. Sites mode operation is described in detail in its own training module. The next option is badging. If you click on the badging button, you will be able to check the badging on checkbox to enable badging. For proper operation, you must call Carry Inside Sales with your badging PC ID number to receive a license code to be entered in the license code field. Badging is a fee-based feature that allows you to design, manage, and print photo ID badges. Badging is described in detail in its own training module. Entry Guard allows you to manage the carry telephone entry controllers and user ID numbers from the DOORS software. To enable Entry Guard, click the Entry Guard on checkbox. Entry Guard is explained in its own presentation. Network master parameters are applied to all the controllers on the access control network. The daylight savings adjust is on by default. It allows automatic daylight savings time adjustments at controllers per the US standards. Turn this option off if the controller is installed in a geographic location that does not observe daylight savings time. Depending on the age of the system, firmware upgrades may be required. Minimum firmware for the current daylight savings time is 8.4.49 for PXL 500 series controllers, 6.3.61 for PXL 250 series controllers, 7.6.05 for EntryGuard titanium and silver telephone entry controllers, and 9.1.06 for the EntryGuard platinum series controllers. Click the modem auto disconnect checkbox to allow the PC modem to automatically disconnect after an operation has been completed in order to allow for immediate use of the controller. This option is only available in doors for Windows version 4.73 or later. Click the global unlock enable checkbox to allow all doors to be unlocked by activating a specific input on the master controller. Note, Global Unlock Enable is not 
Fire Marshal approved to release all the doors upon fire alarm activation. Click the Global Lock Enable checkbox to allow all doors that are controlled by an auto unlock time zone to be locked by activating a specific input on the master controller satellite board. This feature will only lock doors that are unlocked by schedule. Doors that were manually unlocked through software command need to be locked by software command. Enter a global secure time, which is a specified time at which all the doors that were manually unlocked will automatically be locked. The default time is 17.30 or 5.30 p.m. The time may be changed, but it cannot be turned off. Click the APB on checkbox to enable anti-passback. Anti-passback prevents someone from accessing a secure door and then passing his or her card back to someone else to use or from holding the door for others to enter the area. This is done by implementing rules on how often cards can be presented to readers. Local anti-passback is described in detail in its own training module. For each door type, click on the checkbox to enable that specific door type for your system. All doors to be designated as either door, elevator, gate, or time and attendance terminal will change the icon for these doors displayed in the doors program. It makes cardholder tracking programming easier by adding designators which identify these doors in screens. Door type is used for descriptive purposes only. It does not affect door operation. The option must be turned on here, but each door type is selected later in the setup system doors tab. Time and attendance is no longer supported, but may be installed in older systems. Once a door type is activated, these icons will identify each door type when selected in the Setup System Doors tab. Click the Export Import On checkbox to enable Export Import. For proper operation, you must call Carry Inside Sales with your Export Import PCID number to receive a license code to be entered in the license code field. Export Import is a fee-based feature that allows you to export and import the user data file. Export Import must be used with caution. Improper file handling can corrupt the user database. And Export Import is described in detail in its own training module. Enable Roll Call Tracking. Click the Roll Call Track On checkbox to enable this feature. Roll call tracking enables features for locating users in secured areas. Roll call identifies who has entered secure areas and track identifies the path taken by a specific person. Roll call track is described in its own training module. The card plus pin feature is not sold and no longer supported. Alarm control is also not sold nor supported any longer, but may be present in older systems. Click the Temp Users On checkbox to enable the Temp Users feature. The Temp Users feature allows you to assign cards that are active and valid for finite periods of time and then automatically expire. It is particularly useful in applications where memberships or temporary workers are present. Credentials can be programmed to activate sometime in the future and then automatically expire at the end of a designated time period. Temp Users only works on PXL 500 series controllers. It is only available in DOORS 32 software versions of 4.10 or higher, and Temporary Cards is described in detail in the Advanced DOORS presentation. Click the Dual Verification On checkbox to enable the Dual Verification feature. 
This feature allows you to require one or more credentials to enter into a secure area. Dual verification is described in detail in its own training module. Visions video is not sold or supported. This concludes module four of 16, set system options.